Patreo Cold Koala, one of our Patreon supporters. Love you, Cold. Um, Mike, I can't explain it, but today's episode of the podcast was amazing, like more amazing than usual. Thank you. You were switched on. As a suggestion for next week's app, do you think you could talk about anime? What are your thoughts of it? I on it. Are you a fan of it? Why or why don't you like it? If you do like it, which ones are your favorite? Um, I've talked a bit about this on the pod before, and here's where I'm at with with anime and the entire idea of anime. Guys, this is what I'm going to tell you. I think historically I've like wanted to love anime. I don't know why. Like I love the idea of it. But I guess as an adult, I've never particularly been gravitated towards any like certain anime. I, I'll say this because like growing up, we used to watch them all on cheese TV here in Australia. There was like Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, Digimon, Dragon Ball Z, right? And though like love those as a kids, they were all the kids animes and I was obsessed with all of them, really liked them, got into all of them. And as I have said on this podcast before, the theme song to Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. It's the best TV theme song ever. I've, I've said it before. It went viral on TikTok. You know my thoughts on this. But I guess like th- those are all the kids ones in terms of like the more, because, you know, they make like anime, like more mature sort of, you know, serious ones. I have seen Death Note and I would say that Death Note is like without a doubt one of the best TV suspense shows I've ever seen. Basically the idea of it is this guy um, finds a diary and if you write someone's name and a cause of death in the diary, um, they die in that way. Like you basically have control over everything and this guy decides he's going to rid the world of crime by killing all the criminals in the death note because he can. Um, And then it sort of like deals with a lot of themes of one, like this guy's basically playing God. He's undercover. Like people are trying to figure out who he is because he's basically a vigilante. And also what is the line of criminality? Because he basically starts killing like petty criminals and like, you know, shop thieves and um, people who are, you know, like homeless people stealing. He'll kill anyone who commits any crime. And it's like, what is the extent of what we like, it it really deals with justice and, you know, fairness and, uh, and, and the, the, some of the episodes are like breaking bad level of suspenseful and intensity. And you're just like, wow, there's one episode in particular because to kill people, he needs their name. He needs to know their identity to write in the death note. And if he doesn't know their name, he can't kill them. There's one woman who I think, I can't remember exactly what happens, but she finds out who he is. So he has to then, before she reports him, like he doesn't know her name. So he has to pretend he's someone else and get to know her and get her to divulge her name. And then he kills, it's like, it's an incredible suspenseful episode. So that show is incredible and I love it. I would watch it again anytime. Um, But then- I, I've watched One Punch Man. One Punch Man is a really good show. It's like about this superhero who just can kill everyone in one punch. So he kind of has an ex- existential crisis because no enemy is like able to put up a fight against him. The other one I watched that I quite liked was called Demon Slayer, which is basically about this guy who kills demons. And like, I thought that was really, really interesting. But generally speaking, I find them hard to get into because they're just a lot of talking and like prolonged conversations and like lots of exposition that makes things really obvious. And I don't know, I like, I'd always watch Dragon Ball Z. Like sometimes if I'm really tired and can't be bothered doing anything, I'll just put on Dragon Ball Z and just watch episodes of it with no intention of ever finishing it. But yeah, overall, I find it hard to get into anime. I also think a lot of anime movies are really overrated. When I say that, I mean, and people, wow, People are going to hate this take, but I'm just going to put it out there. All the Studio Ghibli movies are like painfully average. A lot of people say that Studio Ghibli is like, oh, you know, they're the Disney of Japan. Their movies are so amazing. Like the animation is great. Like I've seen most of the Ghibli movies. The only ones that I think are like groundbreaking Like I think Spirited Away, if you haven't seen, is a phenomenal film. Like it's just a masterpiece of creativity and it's like Alice in Wonderland on steroids. It's an incredible movie. It's insane, right? 
But then all the other ones, like, I don't think any of them are bad, but I honestly have never been like, wow, that was phenomenal. Like Princess Mononoke is, is like, I thought was really overrated, but people seem to really like that. And yeah, just generally speaking, I don't think the, there's like Kiki's delivery service. I've never really thought any of this, the Studio Ghibli movies are amazing. And I feel like everyone, I feel like it's like this bandwagon thing where everyone has seen Spirited Away, likes it because it's a really good movie. And then they kind of like associate that with all of Studio Ghibli when really they're, they're not that good. That's just what I think. The only one that I would like really want to watch again is Spirited Away. Cause again, that move's amazing. But yeah, thanks for your question called Koala. I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent in there. Um, I'm not a hundred percent into anime, but I'm, I'm open for recommendations. I've also watched My Hero Academia um, I watched a bit of the promised Neverland. I just started one the other night called soul leader, which I really liked the first episode, but you know, generally speaking, I find them really hard to get into. 